Good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Uh, this is my 2002 BMW 5 Series and it's done 155,000 miles nearly and the shifter slot is getting kind of annoying. Um, it's, it's not too bad but it's not where I'd like it to be so you can see it's in gear but it's got all this sloppiness to it uh, and it's got, you know, it's a standard uh, shifter, there's nothing different about it at the moment, so it's got quite a long pro. So, yeah, it's not the nicest gearbox shifter in the world, and you can kind of hear when I'm shifting, but it's quite notchy. And of course, when it's in gear, it does move about, I say, about an inch uh, of slop there, which isn't very nice. But I'm hoping that'll change today because from ECS tuning, I've got a 545i shifter from um, an E60. And it's uh, said a lot about on Bimmer, Bimmer forums and online that this is the way to go for most 3 series and 5 series. So we'll see. This is, a, this is pretty much the part. There's nothing else to it. It's a simple installation, or so it seems, but I don't have the um, ability to get the car high enough um, because I don't trust my jack. Um, and uh, you can get all this from a link in the description um, to a Bim Bimmer Forum site where this is the subject. And uh, it basically tells you everything you need and the procedure to, to do it. That is the clip that holds the bottom of this in. Um, and uh, it seems like that's all that needs to come out and uh, I'm not sure how this actually pulls out of there but I'll find out, I'll try and film when I take this car to the garage now. There we go. And that in theory should come straight up, is it? To actually remove the shifter from the carrier, you're going to have to take that uh, white clip that surrounds the shifter ball in there, and it's going to turn, if I remember right, about a quarter turn to the left or to the right. Get some needle nose in there. Uh, work it both ways and you should be able to then pull the shifter straight out. It's supposed to use the old one. Uh, it also says somewhere about uh, the width being 19.7 millimeters. I don't know if it comes with washers or not. Because if it comes with washers then it could be over 19.7 millimeters. You're not supposed to use those washers then. The new one, yeah. Well, we've got all the uh, clips out and everything, which is over here, and all these bits. We've also got the clip out from underneath, which is why it's so loose. But we're struggling to actually pull it out. I'm not sure what's stopping it from pulling it out. It's like there's clips here or something. I'm not sure. Already I notice a huge difference. Um, the rubber boot's back in, it's all back. That's the only play I've got. One, two, three, four. Five. Might be not from this camera angle, but you can, I can see that it's sitting a lot lower. This is what the shifts are like now. One, two, three. Cool.
first four sheep I tried to hit. So other than the sheep, it was uh, a really nice drive up the mountains. Uh, this short shifter makes a big difference. Trying to go up and down the gears with a long throw is is possible, but it's just not anywhere near as quick as this. The only thing with this shifter um, is it does appear to be a little bit notchy, especially when cold. Uh, when it's cold, it is quite notchy. Um, but I think it just it's one of those things that needs to be worn in, so it might get better. If it doesn't, then I might just need to uh, get new gearbox oil because 155k, I, I think I changed the gearbox oil actually about 20k ago. Uh, it might need changing again to better quality oil. A nice little upgrade and um, yeah, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you next time.